Welcome to Bethany UMC, where we are leading people to experience God's love, know Jesus Christ, and grow in his image. My name is Thomas. I'm one of the pastors at Bethany, and I'm excited that you are joining us for worship today. Uh, this is our midweek uh, service, and it, it is going to be a great time for us to draw close together and worship Jesus together. Before we get started, I want to remind you to go to our website to find ways to get connected to Bethany. Uh, even during this time where we uh, cannot meet in all the same ways, there's still ways that we can stay connected and that we can continue to help each other grow uh, in, in our life with God. Uh, you'll also find places on our website where you can register your attendance for this worship service. You can give online to support the ministry and mission of Bethany so that we can continue doing things like this. Uh, and uh, there are ways for you to, uh, to submit prayer requests. We have a prayer request page. Um, go and let us know what you need prayers for. We want to support you uh, as we go through this time. Now as we begin this worship service, let us pray together. God, come and be with us this day. And during this time where we are coming together from different places to worship you, we pray that you would come and stir our hearts, that you would remind us of who you are and what you have done in our lives, that you would remind us of all the reasons we have to worship you. But as we do that, God, come and pour your Holy Spirit out in our lives, fresh once again. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture reading for today comes from Isaiah 55, verses 11 and 12. We will read this three times, and each time I'll have a question to ask so that you can reflect on that question and meditate on this scripture. Our hope is that we would hear what God is saying to us in his word today. So as we read it the first time, just uh, I invite you to just open yourself up uh, for whatever word or phrase stands out to you in this passage. So shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. What word or phrase is God using to speak to you in this passage today? As we read this a second time, I invite you to consider... What is God saying to you through that word or phrase? So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. 
What is God saying to you through that word or phrase in this passage? As we read this passage a third time, consider how is God calling you to respond to his word today? So shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. How is God calling you to respond to this word today? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The next song that we sing is going to be a song that, uh, that really allows us to, to enter into a time of prayer. And so I invite you during the next song to be praying, to be opening yourself up and telling God what is it that you need. Uh, if you would like to submit prayer requests at this point for everyone else in the service to pray for you, you can do that in the comments to this video. Uh, if, you, if you put your prayer request there, we will be able to go back and see that and to pray for it. And then after this prayer song, uh, we'll be able to come back together for a prayer together. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling, calling for you. that you would come and hear the requests that have been brought to you. We know that you know what is going on in our lives better than we do. We know that you care for us as your children. And we know, God, that you are powerful, that nothing is too big for you to handle. And so we lift up these requests. Come and 
hear our prayers. For those who are sick and struggling with COVID and other illnesses, we ask that you would come and heal them, Lord. For those feeling isolated and depressed and anxious, we pray that you would come and bring your peace and your comfort and your friendship to us. God, for those worried about loved ones, we pray that you would give us the assurance that you are with them, protecting them, providing for them. Lord, we lift up our church to you. We pray that you would come and continue to be at work in Bethany and in the whole Bethany family. It's been a hard year being so disconnected in so many ways. But we pray, God, that you would miraculously make ways for us to connect, to share our lives with one another virtually or from a safe distance. We pray that you would continue to do your work through Bethany, the many missions that serve those who need it most, that you would allow us to be witnesses to Christ and God's love in our neighborhoods as we go on walks, in our workplaces, with our friends. Pray that you would allow us to be a true blessing to the Northwest Austin community, Lord. That we could be the salt and the light you call us to be. Lord, we pray for our nation today. We pray that you would be with uh, our national leaders And as we have a transition in leadership, we ask that you would allow there to be trust. We pray that you would make for healing in our nation. We know that there are many places still that uh, are struggling, where there is discord, where there is a lack of trust, where we need you to come in and give us your reconciliation. God, for uh, the new leaders and the new administration, we pray for wisdom and that you would come and give them what they need to lead our country well, whether we agree or not, or whether we voted for uh, these leaders or not, we, we pray that you would come and have your way through this new administration. We pray that you would allow people to uh, be blessed, We pray that you would come and continue to protect and preserve uh, the country that we live in. God, we give you thanks that you hear all of our individual prayers, the ones that we've put in the comments of this video, um, but also the ones that we hold deep in our hearts. We pray for all of this with the words that Jesus, our Savior, taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Rock of ages, help for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wound descend and flow. Be a sin that a double kill. Save from wrath and make me pure. Not the labor of my hands can fulfill the lost demands. Could my zeal no rest but no? Could my tears forever flow? All for sin, could not alone. Thou must save and thou alone. Nothing in my Simply to the cross I cling, naked come to thee for dress, helpless look to thee for grace, bow I to the fountain fly, wash me Savior or I die. While I draw this bleeding breath, when my eyes shall close 
and death when I soar to worlds unknown see the on the judgment throne rock of ages clap for me let me hide myself in thee thank you for worshiping with us today we hope that this time of worshiping from your home was was good, was a blessing. We hope that this was a time where you could connect with God and invite the Holy Spirit to come and to fill your life once again. Uh, as you go from here, uh, go knowing that God has called you to be the salt and the light in the world around you and that God uh, wants to use you for his purposes in the world. Be open to uh, how God leads you and make sure to stay connected with us uh, so that we can support you and so that you can continue being a part of the Bethany family, even from a distance. Go now in the love of God the Father. Go in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Amen.